Today I'm gonna to show you how to get a quarter million free synth presets for FL Studio. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can download them right now. They are free, go grab those right now. But there is a catch, and it's a good one. These presets were made originally for the iconic DX7 synth. The DX7 has been used on hit songs for people like Michael Jackson, Prince. It can be found in the instrument notes of Frank Duke samples, and check this out, fun fact, it was actually used to score Top Gun. Greetings. <laughs> But here is today's little FL Studio hack. You don't need the $1,400 DX7 synth to use these presets because I'm going to show you how to use these presets for free. That's bloody nice. That is bloody lovely. With one of FL Studio's most slept on plugins, Citrus. Hit this drop down and go to import. The next thing that you want to do is extract all of those files. There's a lot of files there. We're also gonna include the 10,000 uh, DX7 presets that we created or we found for you guys a few months ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, come in here, I'll just grab this. So now that I've clicked that, it's actually imported it. And if you come down here, you can see there's a full bank of sounds. So each of these will have their bank of sounds. So you have a lot of exploring to do. Citrus is one of my go-to sound design tools. So I'm gonna show you the three tips that are gonna help amplify these DX7 presets so that you can make them sound like this. By the way, I go over a bunch of these hidden gems and other stock plugins inside of FL Studio and how to get the most out of them in your production in the new FL Studio Sound Design Masterclass. If you wanna crack the code and making your own unique sounds, then you need to grab this course. We'll make sure that we leave it in the comment section below. One of the quickest ways in Citrus to make any of these sounds sound more expansive is through panning. So panning is gonna add a lot of movement to your pads. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to your operators. So in each of these presets, you're gonna see different operators that are turned up. It's pretty straightforward. If you click on these, it'll actually take you to the operator which is creating the sound. So for instance, in here in number two, if we come down here and we actually go to panning, uh, we will have envelope, LFO, and a bunch of other cool things that we can do to manipulate the panning and modulate it. What we're gonna actually use today is the LFO. So right now our sound sounds like this. Pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do now is enable the LFO. We're gonna hit this drop down menu and this is a big hack right here. This is where you're gonna find a bunch of crazy presets to instantly change and shape your sound. So what we're gonna do is go over to the preset and we're gonna go pitch vibrato. Now that we have this, we can actually scale this up. And what's gonna happen is, as you can kind of see it's drawn in here, when the sound goes towards the top, it's gonna go to the right in your headphones. When it goes towards the bottom, it's gonna go to the left. And you can manipulate this as much as you want to make a really cool sound all in your headphones. So I'm adding a lot of movement. If you have your headphones on right now, you can hear a lot of movement just by turning these knobs and adding some panning. So that's number one tip in creating some expansive, lush sounding pads with these presets. In my personal opinion, sound design is the thing that can separate you from the thousands of producers out there using the same presets. You know, If I was to ask you who your favorite producers are, you would probably say X because of their sound. One of the quickest ways to shape sounds inside of Citrus is by using pitch. So I have a default preset set here really straightforward. What I'm gonna do, similar to panning, I'm gonna come down to pitch. And this is where you can start uh, adding these things together, so panning with the pitch. Come down to pitch, and instead of using the LFO, we're gonna use the envelope. So I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna turn this on. And instantly by turning it on, now listen to this. Really cool, unique sound. And you can actually change this. You can manipulate it. You can draw in exactly how you want this to go. So you want it to maybe quickly go up all the way to the top and then go back down to 50%. One of the quickest and coolest ways that you can change the sound is by using this drop down menu that we just used and by using the presets. So you can come in here and they have a bunch, they have gates, they have arps. One of the coolest things is the pitch arpeggiator. So if you actually turn this on and you use this in conjunction with some other sounds, you can get these really thick sounding pads that are moving like this. So that's a really cool sound design. I feel like if you sped this up, you could almost get you know crazy like serum style playboard cardi sound with some of these synths uh, just by playing with the cutoff and speaking of the cutoff number three is actually playing with the filter and the effects so i'm going to go back to a default sound here just to kind of show you this and so with this default sound 
which sounds like this, we're gonna send it to the filter and the effects. So all you have to do to do that is come down to your operator. So we're using operator one to do this. And you wanna just come down to where it says F1. And what we're gonna do is send the operator to the filter. And so by turning this up, we'll now have this sent to the filter. And now I can go into filter one and again, using some of the presets that they have and shaping this, I can create some really cool modulations with the cutoff. Take a listen to this. So again, using some of the presets in here, I'm drawing in that automation for the cutoff and you can automate these actual um, knobs that I'm spinning right here. So you could do something like that if that's what you wanted to do. But when you start combining this, you know, next with the pitch and then with the panning, that's actually where you get something like this. So in my operator two, I'm playing with the pitch. That's how I get the wow, wow. Uh, I'm also playing with the panning and I'm sending it to a filter and I'm using the ampli amplification over here to kind of distort it. So this is how you can get some really unique sounds out of Citrus based either off the DX7 presets or your own custom presets that you create. Now what you learned today was just a fraction of what is possible with Citrus and I go over all of it in our new FL Studio Sound Design Masterclass. It's on sale right now for $49. We'll leave a link in the comment section below. With that being said, it is only open till July 28th. After that, we are closing down the doors. So if you wanna get in on the Sound Design Masterclass where I teach you everything I know about sound design, hit that link in the comment section below and I'll see you again soon.